Now, in another scenario, you may be asked to calculate the gradient of your line passing through minus 3, 7, and 4, 21. So if you want, you can just make this your point 1, therefore this becomes x1, therefore this becomes y1, therefore this becomes x2, therefore this becomes y2. Now, in that instance, you are then going to say your gradient m equal to, you know very well that is going to be equal to y2 minus y1, which is known as increase in y, and then x2 minus x1. Moving on, this then results in you saying 21 minus 7, because you are saying y2 minus y1. This is your y2 minus your y1. So it's now 21 minus 7 over x2, which is uh, 4 minus, take note that this is minus 3. So you are now going to say 4 minus minus 3. And therefore, this will become 14 over 7, which gives you 2. And that's your gradient for uh, the line that passes through those two given points.